Well, tonight's video has been sent to us. Ooh. And it's um, one from Flat Earth Banjo, which is always a worry, to be fair. But the fun thing is, he's unlisted the video. So um, the link is down below for once. Yeah, it's a merchant marine who says the world is flat. So I suppose we're going to have to look at how he figures that out and how the merchant marine has a map that works with distances when no flat earther can seem to produce one. So something tells me this guy isn't in charge of maps. Gentlemen, I'm the Sarcastic Bomb and welcome to the channel and yes we're looking at a merchant marine officer who says the earth is flat. In particular, this guy. I'm a merchant marine. I've been selling 15 years. I graduated from the Paul Hall Maritime Center out of Piney Point, Maryland. I primarily sell on container ships, tankers, drill ships, military cargo vessels. You name it, I can sell on it. Isn't that nice? He's been all around the world and still somehow seems to think it's flat. I really hope he's actually going to give proper explanations for why he thinks it's flat, not just stupid things like, well, when I'm on the boat, yeah, I can't see the things I think I should see, and I see the things that I can't see, and then I see the things that I can see when I put the aquariums up my nose. Because, yeah, it, it's it's going to be fucking stupid, isn't it? It's, it's Flat Earth Banjo's video. Well, it's not his video. It's wherever he's pinched it from and unlisted it for whatever reason. Ugh. What led me to the Flat Earth was actually uh, my sister. We've always been into the conspiracies and the 9-11 and Sandy Hook and all that stuff. And right. Okay. This is the joys of not pre-watching videos and just going, ha, oh, yeah, look, it's a link to this and yeah. Okay, Sandy Hook conspiracy person. I, I'm going to need a drink to go with this. Um, I'll be right back. And uh, one day she said, hey, you want to see a conspiracy? You should look into the flat earth. And I, I looked at her and laughed because I had seen the videos come up in the feed and they showed that disc thing in the space and I laughed at it and <laughs> whatever. And she showed it to me and I laughed at her. And I went and pulled out my phone and I looked up a video. You can look it up. It's called Dragon Link FPV to Space. And what you'll see is basically an RC airplane that's been taken up about 80,000 feet. And they release it and then the airplane comes down with power. And it has the Dragon Link system which is capable of making control and video. Now we do have to wonder where he's going to take this one. A little radio controlled airplane that only went to... 80,000 feet so not particularly high really um i think the pie that's on the thumbnail went higher than that did so oh it's gonna get stupid it's really gonna get you i just know it oh anyways and but they had a gopro so you see this curved globe and you know that said it for me when i saw that i was like oh wow look at that so i brought that down to her put it right in her face and said, look at that. And I, looking back, I remember her smile on it was like, you know, okay, she wasn't gonna argue with me. And she said, okay. Later on, I don't know, a couple days later, whenever I seen it in there, and I said, all right, I had nothing to watch. I hit it on the YouTube, and I knew within 10 minutes of it. I, do, I forget which one it was. I think it was probably uh, one of the documentaries. Flat Earth documentaries. I suppose it does document how stupid and science denially science denialism let's just believe it as how stupid they are while i can't think of the word um but it was almost like i instantly knew and then what happened was is a lot of the proofs that i had were before i was a flat earther such as seeing contacts at 30 miles out with the naked eye on the horizon 30 miles out with the naked eye really i'm guessing there's no like evidence for this claim and it's just one of these stupid fucking claims because at 30 miles out that would need to be something fucking large maybe like a continent or a just an island or fucking something it's not going to be a fucking boat though which is impossible on the globe model so much so it was me the third officer and the lookout we were standing our watch and we were i believe we were in the mediterranean sea 
look out, look and, look and watch. I say, okay, we got a contact out there. We look and we look and we try and get it on the radar. We get it at 30 miles out. When the chief mate came up, we had told him, hey mate, we got a contact earlier 30 miles out. He said, bull crap. I don't believe you. And we all looked at each other and shook our heads and said, yeah, yep, yeah, they got it. We He stormed off the bridge, ran down, came back up. He had the Bowditch, which is a green, thick green book that's everything you ever need to know about being on the ocean sailing. Now, Gee, so you are implying it's about 30 miles out, I'm guessing. No, just no. <laughs> I find that so ridiculously stupid that even with refraction, you aren't going to be seeing about 30 fucking miles on the Mediterranean. Possibly at night you might have seen a bit of a light or something, but dusk i don't know but i very fucking much doubt it because that's just stupid and i bet once again there is probably nothing to support this claim you're making is there i gave everything and he comes up and he says the math doesn't lie and he slams down this piece of paper and he says our bridge height is at 100 feet versus how far 30 miles it should have been behind like 600 foot of curb i remember 600 something foot well, fuck me, look at that. If you're 100 feet high, your target distance is 30 miles. We put the target at another 100 feet, because we'll uh, take a guess that it's another big walk-off boat. Uh, yeah, medium sort of refraction. You could just make out the bottom of it. Fair enough. Um, we've got to uh, get still in medium. We're getting into strong refraction now, but you are all over water. Mediterranean is relatively warm. How do you have to go? To about... There-ish. That's when we start having less hidden. But, yeah, it is apparently doable. Right, right weather conditions. I stand corrected. So, doesn't actually matter then. But it won't have been a small-ass fucking boat at, like, dinghy level. He had all the mathematical course I didn't know. Uh, you know, okay, that's good. All right, he must know what he's talking about. But we're looking like, well, I don't know. We got it on the radar. Then the radar must not know what it's doing. Also, radar. Radar works in straight lines. The radar is incapable of curving. Oh, okay. I take it we're not doing anything else on that point. It's just like, yeah, I saw this boat. Okay. No, no actual supplying of evidence or anything. Just you've made a claim. We then looked into the little bit of your claim a bit more with the curve calculator and gone, yeah, okay. Would have been nice to know what kind of boat it was. Maybe some of the weather conditions. You know, anything. The name of your boat, what day you were there, so we can then go and look and go, all right, if we look back on old tracking maps, we can see what the other fucking ship was and then make more fucking information. But no, I wonder why Flat Earthers do this and leave as little information as possible. Oh, yeah, because then people realise they're fucking morons. Also, radar. Radar works in straight lines. The radar is incapable of curving round a curve picking up and bouncing back the reflection of what it's picking up so if you can imagine a ship on the other side of the curve we'll say 30 miles 40 miles out it sends out the radar beam the radar beam is supposedly curving around this ball bouncing back and then bouncing the reflection curving back around to be picked up by the radar that's not happening it's flying out straight and when it picks up something it hits it back straight it's not going around any curve. That's that's plain and simple. That can be looked up on your YouTube and see how radar waves work. They don't go around the curve. Every diagram shown will show you straight lines. They don't they don't show you curved lines. Radar waves don't curve. Use YouTube as a source. <gasps> oh dear, YouTube as a source. No, no, that's not what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to Furuno because they make this shit. And you know what they've got to say about radar? Wow. Radar waves propagate along Earth's surface, but due to diffraction effects, these waves propagate in a slightly curved manner. The degree of diffraction is determined by many factors, including atmospheric density. In general, the diffraction curves allows the wave to go beyond the line of sight by about 6 degrees. Sorry, 6%, not 6 degrees. That'd be huge! Oh, they do have a formula for it, which I'll 
post here now, your radar line of sight, bloody well are. But they have an example. <clears throat> For example, if we assume that the height at which the antenna is located on a boat is 16 metres and the altitude of the detected object is 9 metres, then the radar line of sight will be about 15 nautical miles. The range of radar can be increased by simply installing the antenna higher in the same way. The higher the altitude of the object, the further it can be detected. So, um, yeah, so you see further when they're higher up. Your bridge is, what, 100 foot high? Uh, your radar's above that by what? If we said 15 foot, would that be uh, reasonable? Which, uh, according to the uh, translatorcafe.com, which have got a uh, radar horizon checker, your radar horizon is going to be... 47.16 kilometers or 29.31 miles or 25.46 nautical miles. Now, as you never mentioned to nautical miles, which I'm assuming they are as your merchant seaman, then that is slightly below what you were saying. But if you were just saying miles because you're useless, then 29.31 is very close to that 30 mile range you were just on about. And that's only assuming that you're 15 foot above your bridge for the radar. Without knowing your container ship and how high that thing was, and also whether you're loaded or unloaded, how high you're riding in the water, because those couple of extra feet could make a difference. Because if I said you're 120 foot, well, that adds like half a mile. So five foot adds half a mile. <sighs> these, these flat earthers just don't like giving any proper examples or any real information, do you? No. No, you fucking don't i'd like to point out that i see now that I, I didn't see before is that you have a magnetic compass and you have a gyro on any ship and i'm not talking about your little crabberman show fishing boat what are the deadliest cat i'm talking about a real deep sea going unlimited tonnage boat it's going to have a gyro and it is a big huge box that sits behind, usually behind the bridge or in the chart room it's a big box and it's basically the gyro compass now, if you had two models, I guess, wouldn't you have to have one making the corrections? Because it almost never matches, the, the, the magnetic almost never matches the uh, gyro. It's very rare that we're steering the same course. And they say it's due to deviation and variation is where you, you know, like the metals of the ship causes it to, to differ. And then you have the variation of the magnetic fields over the earth is, I guess they change, you know, true north and magnetic north. Hey, I'm just... Thinking back to the start of this video, we made all these claims about your education in doing sailing and things. But then you're making a silly claim like this and forgetting that true north and magnetic north are not the same thing. And the magnetic north pole does move yearly. So, yeah. And that one's a magnet and you're in a big fuck-off boat made of metal. Um, right. And any electronic devices that maybe have gone past the magnetic compass could have slightly pulled it off. I mean, just very slightly. No, we're not thinking about that at all, are we? No. This next section is just going to get stupider, isn't it? How, how long are we making this video for? Oh, we're almost at time I can say fuck off and be done with. But the way I look at it is, man, they got two different machines. One is a machine and one is from God. The, the way to get around the earth. God's not a dummy. He put the way to get around the earth with the compasses. If back in the day they had motorized vessels that can get them around, they would probably have got around a lot better. That's right. You can cross God off your flat earth bingo cards. Because, yeah, bring God into it. Why not? And as for if people had boats with motors, they could get around easier. Well, yes. Yes, they fucking could. If it was easier to get around with a boat without a motor, do you know what we wouldn't have done? Put fucking boats with motors into the world. We'd just gone about rowing, because, oh, definitely, it's all sail. Yeah, wind, oh, brilliance. Oh, there's no wind today. Well, luckily, I've got this fucking motor. Fucking stupid coin and claiming stupidness. But they were at the mercy of the wind. People were like, oh, they didn't know their way, or, you know, they were using the stars and stuff, and they, you know, so I just believe that the two compasses, the gyro compass that's electronic, and then our regular compass is because they are switching the ways, you know, the maps. There's two different ways to get around the Earth. 
this is just like the lack of flat earth fucking anything isn't it it's like yeah we've got these two compasses because one points at north which is in the middle and the other one points that north is in the middle um yeah the the north bit isn't going to move whether the earth is flat or not because it's still going to be the north pole isn't it it's just the fact that you're stupid and don't understand why you've got these two things one for accuracy but you've always got the backup of the magnetic one. I need to get someone fucking good boatiness. Good boatiness. Fucking is that. You can just understand how much my brain has been melted by this guy. It's just ridiculousness at this point. Oh, a sailor. We need a sailor to look at this video. Give much better answers than I would. Mike Bertelson, where are you? I'm going to tag you in this video. Just piss you off. Frickin it. On, uh, on one ship, on a military ship, and this is with uh, a night vision goggles, 50 miles, and these guys were on the bow. They were not even on the bridge where you'd be 100 foot up. They were on the bow, which is barely probably 40 feet off the, off the water's edge. Yeah, so I went back to the curve calculator and I thought, oh, okay then. Observer height, 46 foot, because if he's the deck's 40 foot, he's 6 foot. There we go, 15 mile distance, target height of uh, target size of 40 foot. Refraction zero. Oh, that's strange, we can see that. And that's before we add in refraction. Also tell mates about the, they lay down and we use, all our charting is done on flat maps, straight lines. They never draw a curved line, every line is straight. Straight, straight, straight lines, straight lines, everywhere we go on a flat map. And I try to point it out to them, and what they tell me is, Mr. Marcator has put all that in there for you. It's all equated in there for you. You don't have to worry about it. All the curvature calculations for it and everything's figured right into the, uh, the map. So the straight lines and everything are actually bending somehow, I don't know. So these are just the proofs that I see. Along with, you can see the Capuscular rays are... He spent very little time on maps then, didn't he? It's like a quick bit. Yeah, the maps and Makeda and, and things are curved, but every all the lines are flat. Right, move on quick before anyone sort of questions any of that. You have the ideal opportunity. If you're on a ship, you can say, right, you can be there. You can figure out how fast you're going, how long it's taking you to get places. You could then try and do a map. And then find that flat earth doesn't fucking work. You said at the start of this you do deep sea vessels from continents to continents. So you should be able to give times and things on this shite. But you won't, will you? Because like most, well not even most, like all flat earthers, you don't want actual proof or evidence to support you. You want your stupidity to guide you to the stupidness that is flat earth. Otherwise, how the fuck would you get there? Because fortunately, no map can lead you to the flat earth because it's that stupid. The fact you walked onto Capuscular Rays next, again, just shows the stupidity. Oh, thank God this video's done with because my brain could not have taken any more. I'm now going to go and either blow up some bugs play some Monkey Island, or figure out what else I'm going to subject you all to. Possibly a guy who thinks Jesus is real. Sorry, he doesn't think Jesus is real. He thinks he is Jesus. Yeah, that's going to be um, an interesting video, shall we say. But thank you very much for joining me. I've been the Sarcastic Bowman. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you to everyone who makes these videos possible. Even by leaving a comment, it helps. Um, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you very much. Good night. Hey, hey, hey. I'm a